Alhamdulillah, we're blessed to reach almost the end of this month of Ramadan. May Allah accept it from us and make it a means of continued benefit for us on every tomorrow that we see in this world. And now is the time for us to dig deep and take as much advantage as possible of every final minute of every hour of every moment that we have left because these are most crucial. The Ramadan for us has never been meant to be just a check off of a list to say that it has come and it's done and now we move on to the next obligation. But like so much of the journey that we have in this world and till we get to our ultimate abode in the world beyond this one, may Allah make us people of Jannah. That we want to utilize these days as a means to inform every day of every tomorrow that we will see past this day. And so now is the time to make that much more dua. Now is the time to ready yourself for what will come after the month is done. Now is the time to think deep and reflect and contemplate, to yield from the late hours of the night, and to yearn to be able to carry forward on every lesson that you have taken from this beautiful month once it is finished. And to know and be strategic that once the month is done, the vices, the whispers, they will come back. May Allah protect us from them. That the hadith, when it tells us, Sufidat al shayateen, that the chained shayateen, they're not going to be able to do anything to you. They're going to try to come at where we are most vulnerable. Abdullah, the son of Imam Ahmad, he one sees his father, rahimahullah, and he is saying, no, not yet, no, not yet. And he gets worried because he believes his father has reached such an elderly age that soon he will be leaving from this world. And when he inquires, his father says that it was no angel of death that was coming to take me from this world, but shaitan himself had come to me and said that, fitani ya Ahmad, fitani, that you have fled from my grasp, O Ahmad, I have no control over you. And to him I had said that, la ba'd, la ba'd, hatta al maut, that no, not yet, no, not yet, until death you and I will take each other on. Because he understood the value of just moments. And as long as he had breaths to breathe in this world, he would never give up consciousness and awareness that his nafs, the ego, hawa, desire, dunya, the material world, and shaitan's waswasa, his whispers, may Allah protect us from all of them, are built to try to keep us from being the best version of ourselves that we can be. And where the month of Ramadan is categorically distinct from other months of the year, you want to be ready to be attacked in the battle for your heart where you are most vulnerable. And to not get caught off guard, but where you reinforce yourself in the remainder of the moments we have in this month to meet it with more strength, more courage, more vigor, with a sense of who it is that you have been worshiping Azzawajal, for all of these days in this month. That if you do fall, you just get right back up because there is nothing that you can ever do that is greater than Allah's mercy, His Rahma. May Allah accept from all of us every dua, every moment of worship, every act that we undertook for His sake in this blessed month. And may He make it a means of our benefit throughout our remaining time in this dunya, leading us to the best of places in the world beyond this one. والله تعالى عالم وبالله توفيك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته